One of the easiest ways to keep your costs down if you've added a new driver to the family budget is to save on auto insurance. Of course, less expensive cars are cheaper to insure, but the key is to strike a balance between cost, safety, and reliability. Tony has more in today's Behind the Wheel. When it comes to new teen drivers, inexperience is the enemy. Late for school, backing out of the garage, forgot that the garage door needed to be open in order to back the car out. It was within the first month of his solo driving. In fact, new teenage drivers are eight times more likely to be involved in a crash or cause damage to a car during the first three months of solo driving than any other time. And when they do, their parents go shopping. That's when they start looking for a used car, especially if you've got a, uh, a very nice expensive vehicle and the kid wants to take it to school. But not just any used car will do. First, it has to be cheap to buy. Think six to $7,000. Buying a somewhat inexpensive vehicle for a young driver is probably more advantageous when they're first starting out because of the inexperience. At that price point, cosmetic damage just adds character to a car. As long as it doesn't compromise safety and damage isn't done to someone else's property, you just live with it. That's part of what would be an advantage of getting an older vehicle that Again, you don't mind if it has a dent, a scrape, or a scratch in it. It also has to be cheap to repair. In an older car, say 15 years old, you can usually change a headlight bulb in a matter of minutes. You might even be able to do some of the work yourself. Basic things like engine oil changes, air filter changes, battery changes, things like that are much easier. And of course, it has to be cheap to insure. Of course, cheap in this instance is a relative term. Anytime you add a child to a policy, generally it becomes way more expensive. There are hundreds of used cars on Craigslist for five to $7,000. Many more when you include dealerships. But of course, cost isn't the only consideration. A used car for your new driver has to be reliable, and of course, it has to be safe. Stay away from anything so old that it doesn't have airbags and ABS brakes. And of course, always get a pre-purchase inspection. Take it and have a good vehicle inspection done that's going to uncover anything that you're going to you know, need to find. Um, and they will also be able to tell you if the, if the frame is straight. Um, spending a couple hundred dollars on that can save you thousands in the long run. Safe, reliable, and inexpensive cars are out there. Just take your time, do your research, and hopefully the more they drive, the better your young driver will become. So the way to think about it again is okay. what is the least expensive, most reliable, safest car yep. I can buy okay. for the least amount of money? You have to that's, be patient and do some spot. research. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and they're out there. You know. Sure. And this won't be the car they're going to drive forever, no. but it's yeah. the one that you're helping start. out. Well, and sometimes your insurance agent can help you with this yes. because yeah. I know we're, we have a great relationship with ours, and when our kids were getting ready to drive, I called and said, what, what is the safest? What yeah. should we do? Yeah, and, and those rates can vary by a lot of different yeah. parameters. But, yeah, yeah, in terms of the car itself, think – very reliable, very safe, very inexpensive. And a convertible. Uh, let's go right now to... <laughs> oh, the, uh, look at this. 